Welcome to Doc Martin's quarantine video series. This is part two of our series on optimizing immunity during infectious times. Last week, we talked about two strategies for mitigating the risk of contracting COVID-19. We talked about the importance of physical distancing and social hygiene. If you missed last week's episode, click here. Now we will be talking about improving our baseline health through natural strategies. Exercise, diet, sleep, and supplementation. Let's get cracking! First, we're going to talk about the importance of sleep. Getting at least seven to nine hours of sleep a day. Studies have shown that less than six hours of sleep a day drops the activity of your natural killer cells, part of your innate immune system, by as much as 50%. These cells play a crucial role in protecting your body from viruses, bacteria, and parasites. Healthy sleep also acts as an anti-inflammatory. I'm going to share with you simple tips for getting a good night's sleep. Number one, set an alarm when it's time to go to bed. Most people will set an alarm when it's time to wake up, but you need to remind yourself to go to sleep. Set your air conditioner at the coolest possible temperature you can tolerate and use a thin blanket. Colder temperatures make it easier for your body to fall into deep sleep. Do not train your brain to be awake in bed. Do not watch television, play with your cell phone, read books, or do any activities in your bed. Your brain has to realize that when you're in your bed, it's time to sleep. Avoid stress. Stress causes inflammation and has been shown to shift you away from an effective immune system. There are simple ways of reducing stress. There are mindfulness-based stress reduction therapies. There is listening to relaxing music and there is exercise. Exercise at least 150 minutes a week of moderate activity. This has been shown to improve our health and minimize cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, and certain types of cancer by as much as 33%. Although some studies have shown a diminished immune response with certain types of exercises. So, a general rule of thumb is don't get overly tired and exhausted. A workout that leaves you struggling to move or to be fatigued the whole day is probably going to have some temporary immunosuppressing effects. A whole food, plant-based diet has been shown to be good for your body in general by not only preventing but also reversing major diseases. If you missed that video, you can click here. Virgin coconut oil is a medium chain fatty acid that is metabolized by your liver directly for energy. Basic science research has shown that VCO has the ability to destroy the outer membrane of viruses. In fact, the University of the Philippines, Philippine General Hospital, and the Department of Science and Technology is currently conducting a scientific study on the use of virgin coconut oil for patients suffering from severe COVID-19. I take two tablespoons a day as a preventative measure, and I've been doing this for several years. I sometimes blend it into my coffee, which makes for a healthier, smoother caffeine spike throughout the day. Now let's talk about supplementation for immunity. Vitamin D deficiency is directly related to acute respiratory distress syndrome and pneumonia, two classic features of COVID-19. In fact, in the Longitudinal study on aging by the Ireland government, 
they feel that vitamin D supplementation has a role to play in protecting the elderly from COVID-19. There are studies published in the British Medical Journal by Bergman in 2012, which is a double-blinded, randomized clinically controlled trial, the highest form of scientific inquiry, and other studies in prestigious journals such as Nutrient 2013 and March 2020, talking about the importance of vitamin D and immunity in general and specifically in influenza related to COVID-19. This is because there are receptors in our immune cells for vitamin D, which means that it gains entry into the cell, goes into the nuclear membrane, and can affect epigenetic expression of both the innate and adaptive immune system. It is especially important to supplement with vitamin D when there is limited exposure to direct sunlight, light during ECQ when people are cocooning for prolonged periods of time, during rainy season in the tropics where there is a cloud cover, and during winter months in other countries. We're now going to talk about vitamin C. Vitamin C is recognized as an essential nutrient in many aspects of our immune system especially immune cell function in both the innate and adaptive immune response. Vitamin C is actually water soluble. So it's best to take it throughout the day versus taking a dose all at once. One of the strategies for resiliency to virus and disease is to lessen the inflammatory status of the patient. If you look at this graph, you'll see that if the baseline inflammation of the patient is high, it's easier for them to cross the threshold for disease and even hospitalization and death. So we're going to be talking about different vitamins and supplements that they have the ability to reduce inflammation. Vitamin A levels drop during various types of infection. And multiple studies have shown that vitamin A supplementation improves resistance and recovery rate. Multiple studies also show that vitamin A deficiency increases inflammation. This appears to be important for the mucosal barriers affected by COVID-19. Other supplements that have been shown to lessen inflammation and thereby improve survivability to infection are resveratrol and curcumin or turmeric. Resveratrol is a component of red wine which is released by stress grapes that has been studied in a wide range of diseases including cardiovascular disease and metabolic inflammatory processes. Turmeric, which is a relative of ginger, is a good source of curcumin or curcuminoids. They are well documented for its antiviral and anti-inflammatory activity. To summarize, social distancing and disinfection protocols are effective in preventing infections. Lifestyle changes can have a dramatic impact in your overall health and well-being. Sleep at least seven to nine hours a day exercise at least 150 minutes a week. Diet is important. A whole food plant-based diet can help minimize inflammation and improve your immune function. Avoiding excessive sugar and alcohol intake has also been shown to be helpful for the same reasons. Supplementation may help improve immune function and minimize inflammation. These are important considerations in increasing your resiliency towards disease. The key supplements are as follows. Vitamin D, take five to 10,000 international units a day. Vitamin A, take five to 10,000 international units a day. Vitamin C, it's advised that you take one gram a day, but at different times. These supplements help minimize inflammation in your body. Reserve Patrol, take two to four hundred 
milligrams two to three times a day and curcumin take 500 milligrams three to four times a day. I hope you found this series helpful. Please stay healthy, happy, and safe, always. This is Doc Martin saying, every day, in every way, you are getting better and better.